Hi, I'm James, and welcome back to Storytime with James. Make sure you like, subscribe, and leave me a comment if you like. All right. This one is called Taking Once for Steve. Yeah. Taking one for Steve. For Steve. Okay. <clears throat> Look. Me and Steve was... Man, we, we were partners back in the day. I had to be in middle school then, so. Yeah, Steve was uh, kind of big. He was big, you know. And I was skinny, you know. But Steve was real big, you know. But me and him kind of shared the same interests and stuff like that, so. So we were cool, you know. One day, me and Steve... Uh, we was getting ready to go to the store, you know. It was lunchtime, and we walked uh, a couple of blocks over to the store, which was in in uh, in the hood, like you know. So we walked we walked over to the store. He went in and bought some candy. Then I went and bought some candy. When I went, when I bought some candy, Steve went outside. When he went outside, a couple of guys got him and roughed him up real good. And when I went out there, I looked looking around for him, and I went into this gangway. And the gangway was, you know, a little two buildings were together, and it was a, a long, you know, little uh, alleyway going through there. So I looked in there, and I saw him laying on the ground. And I helped him. I said, Steve, what's wrong? What's wrong, man? He said, oh. They got me, man. They got me. And I said, what What happened? What happened? He said they uh, that they took his candy, all his candy from him. So I helped him up, and I gave him some of mine. I, I, I bought a dollar worth of penny candy, and he always had money, so I think he, he had two dollars worth of penny candy. So I gave him half of mine, you know. So we went back to school and everything was okay. He had a little mouse under his eye, but that was it, you know. Then after that, me and, me and Steve decided to go to the lagoon. It was in Washington Park, okay. So uh, we decided to go to the lagoon and then we started walking to the, the lagoon. It was a, a, about a mile from the uh, from the school, so we walked. We walked out, walked to the lagoon. We got there and we were throwing rocks in the water and stuff like that. You know, we saw some fish, and stuff like that. We couldn't catch them, you know. But after that, we was walking back and. When I was walking, I saw these guys ride past on bikes, you know. So, so they they rode they rode past on bikes, and they got out of sight. So we started walking. I said, "Let's go, let's go." We started walking, and then one of them yelled a game sign or something out at us. And I I looked at Steve and I said, "Hey, we better run. We better run," you know. He said, okay, okay. So I took off. And I was in the wind. I was gone. I was gone. But Steve, Steve was kind of heavy. He wasn't good on takeoff and he couldn't keep up. And he was, huh, huh, huh. and he, he said something noble to me. He said, go on without me. Go on without me. Huh, huh. And I was way up there. I was gone, you know. And they were closing in on me. So I started slowing down. And I turned around. I looked back. I started running back towards Steve, you know. He was down. By the end, Steve was down on one knee, you know, trying to catch his breath. And I started running, running, running back toward him. Running back toward him. Running back toward him. And when I got to him, they was almost to him. And 
Rockstar fight. I got into, got into a fight with it. It was, they, it was about five of them, you know. So I was throwing hands with them, but they were tripping me and doing some of everything, you know. And so then I, I got against the tree, put my back against the tree, and I was trying to fight them, but they kind of overwhelmed me, you know. But I did look up and I saw Steve running. <laughs> I said, man, what in this? They, they tore my shirt and everything, you know. So, after so long with them pummeling me and stuff like that, I jumped up in a tree and broke a branch. So, I started swinging like this. Swinging like this and going backwards. Swinging, swinging, going backwards. So, finally, I got out of there, you know. And after that, I said, Steve, man, why you leave me, man? He said, I said, you big, man. You big. And he said, oh, I know, man. I was going to call the police. I said, man, you stand, you sitting here eating an ice cream cone. How are you going to call the police? He said, oh, I, when I finished this, I was going to call the call, uh, police. Man. He left me for dead, you know. But it's still okay. It's still okay. Steve, uh, Steve died too. After that, Steve kind of, uh, he had an asthma attack and died, you know. So it was, it was sad. It was sad. But I did save him from getting beat. Because uh, they 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 showed no mercy. They, they didn't have no mercy on me. I tell you that. <laughs> they didn't have no mercy on me. But I was able to get out of that situation with a branch. You know. So I don't know, man. Well, Steve, wherever you are, rest in peace, man. Rest in peace. Because uh, Steve uh, had an asthma attack shortly after we got into that instant incident, so it's not his—it's not his fault. He was trying to save himself, you know. But I couldn't—I couldn't let him go out like that, you know. So I, I went back for him, you know. <sighs> All right, you guys. Make sure you like, subscribe, and leave me a comment if you like. Hit that bell notification. Hit that bell notification so that you know every time I drop another video. And share, share, share. Share my videos with your family. Share my videos with your friends. Share it with your loved ones. And even share it with your enemies. No.